Every aspect of society is now grappling with how best to return to work safely as states are now beginning to open up the economy. There are a lot of opinions out there as to the best way to do this. Some are based on fact, and some are based on preconceived notions that may or may not be true. One of those preconceived notions is that it is too dangerous to have brass and woodwind players blowing through their instruments as the large volume of air being dispersed throughout the room can offset the benefits of social distancing. This has been used as a basis for not allowing brass and woodwind players to go back to work in the studio and in symphonies around the world. These beliefs, however, have been shown to be untrue. The Vienna Philharmonic recently commissioned a study to determine how far, if at all, air was projected from a brass or woodwind instrument while playing. The result of the study showed that there was little to no air being projected beyond a couple of feet, which is about the same as simple speech, and that playing brass and woodwind instruments was actually quite safe. We expanded on that study to show several different instruments playing at a high volume directly into a suspended tissue from a distance of approximately one foot. It was interesting to note that when the player gently blew air without the instrument, the tissue moved a lot. However, regardless of volume or instrument type, the tissue did not move when an instrument was actually being played. The kinetic energy of the moving air is being transferred into vibrations, which is what creates the sound. The oscillation of the diaphragm will also cause the air in front of the diaphragm to move back and forth. But here's the interesting thing. The air in front of the diaphragm doesn't actually travel away from the speaker. The air molecules in front of the speaker just oscillate back and forth. So how can you hear the sound from a speaker if the air next to the speaker doesn't actually make it to your ear? Well, the reason is that the oscillating air in front of the speaker causes the air in front of it to also oscillate until finally the air that's actually next to your ear and your eardrum start to oscillate back and forth. This means that while sound is projected throughout the room, streams of air from the instruments are not. With proper social distancing, disinfecting of surfaces, washing of hands, and other preventative measures, we can minimize the risk of playing in a musical ensemble. As the economy opens back up, social contact will increase. And while any social contact anywhere could potentially have a small risk, with proper precautions, playing in a symphony or recording studio should present no more risk than shopping at the grocery store, eating at a restaurant, or working in any other environment around other people.